Do you think Ukraine is moving in the right direction in terms of reforms? I think now uh, it is not a right direction. Now we have a sort of uh, uh, rollback in, in some reforms. But generally speaking, uh, it's amazing that Ukraine still has at least some reforms without a uh, looming fiscal crisis. Because before, in all, all of the uh, years of the independence, it was a very strong correlation between fiscal crisis and reforms. What are the main obstacles to reforms in Ukraine? I think that uh, as of now we have, uh, first of all, some uh, a sort of uh, burning out the civil society, which, which was the main engine of reforms. Secondly, uh, there are lots of misunderstandings between the Western partners and the civil society. Only where uh, and when uh, the civil society and uh, foreign partners act together. There are lo lots of them uh, in terms of corruption, for instance, they emphasize on punitive measures, whereas, whereas uh, these measures should be actually subdued to more systemic measures. And we now have a um, very strange story with the IMF that insisted a lot uh, on the uh, anti-corruption court, which has no uh, consequences so far but uh, strongly opposed to the corporate tax reform, which is the major anti-corruption uh, reform in the tax sphere uh, that Ukraine can achieve, even in spite of the uh, proposition to make this reform completely fiscally neutral. So it opposed to fiscally neutral anti-corruption reform. How can the West best help Ukraine? Uh, first of all, they uh, sh do need more research on Ukraine because they uh, o very often misunderstand uh, the realities. And the realities are very different from what they saw in uh, other developing countries and what they saw in the, uh, their own countries. Uh, they are by no means unique, but uh, now uh, the uh, modern social science offers very fruitful frameworks for understanding of the things uh, that are happening in Ukraine and other developing countries. And also uh, there are some specificities uh, like uh, the uh, soft rule of law, uh, which is, means uh, selective implementation of impracticable law that should be taken into consideration very carefully. Otherwise, uh, harmonization with the European norms uh, acts to the contrary to the European principles.